Today we're gonna get this coil over and bucket or coil tower, whatever you wanna call it, on the passenger side. I already did the driver's side, so let's get started. Okay guys, here's the plan. We're gonna take this coil over tower right here. I already traced uh, lines from that driver's side coil over tower and put them onto here so that way they're the same height. I'm gonna go ahead and cut that. And then from there, we're gonna um, put it on the frame, use some vice grips or something like that to keep it on the frame so I can draw my lines on the frame and then make that cut. I'll tell you what, cutting this frame, uh, it's it's freaky, man. Like there's no turning back. I thought that the, the leaf spring hangers, that was, that was intimidating. You're literally cutting into your frame on this. So if you're not comfortable with that, maybe this isn't something you should do. I'm not a professional fabricator by any means. This is a hobby. Um, it's not, really it's not that bad. So maybe take that into account if you're thinking about doing something like this. Um, but yeah, with that all said, let's get started and get this thing on, on its own weight, huh? All right guys, so I got that chopped to what size it needs to be. Ended up taking quite a bit off of it. Um, this is obviously just for my application, but they're universal so it works out. I'm gonna go ahead and get this um, like kind of crimped onto the frame for now. And that way I can draw my, my lines and then chop the frame. All right, so after checking everything, I was able to get the same angle on each side of the Jeep. Now I'm gonna trace it and get to cutting the frame out finally. Hey guys, what's going on? It's no longer December, no longer Christmas. It's January 18th. I got busy with work and doing this stuff behind me, so let's check it out. The last thing I showed you guys was cutting the frame. So I was able to weld the uh, coil towers in. Coilovers are in, no resi clamp, it's just a hose clamp. Um, everything works pretty good. It was sitting pretty high in the rear and I had a bunch of driveline vibrations even with the new driveline and the pinion adjusted so there's still some more I can do as far as pinion angle goes but I went ahead just to lower it and I swapped coils I went to Viper Springs and I got um, a 200 pound coil this is a 225 so it should work pretty good with these dual rates I know you can't really see right now but I got a 200 and a 175 so obviously the axle's all done for the most part. So we've got to add some paint to a few things. Got the brake lines in. That's the stock breather line. So you can see it's not too much taller at full droop. We'll see what happens, but I don't have it limited or bumped yet. So once I get it limited and bumped, I'll take it off road. Kind of see how it goes. Um, see what I need to do. Up front, we got BDS three and a half inch lift on there with my old shackles, I think those are three quarters. So these will be going, these are an uh, inch and a half uh, super lift springs. So, but all in all, it's sitting pretty flat now. It's looking good, I'm really liking it. Um, it's a lot taller than it was. You can see here, I'm about 6'2". So it's sitting, sitting pretty good. With the leaf springs up front and the coilovers in the rear, I'm not running any sway bar and 
the leaf springs seem to keep it pretty planted. So as far as that goes though, riding, riding around, driving on the street, not too bad at all. Rides good, drives good, tracks good. Um, we'll have to take a look. Oh, my heater's turning on. Um, it's about 30 degrees here, so it's not too bad, but you gotta keep the house at 70, you know? Anyway, once we get everything squared away, limited, bump strapped, we'll take it off road and really see how these things handle. So other than that though, I got the um, transfer case dropout, so that's nice. Um, yeah, it's actually really good. I'm really excited how this project turned out. Luckily, I didn't completely destroy my Jeep. So that's how it's looking though. Next thing, as far as aesthetics go, this ugly soft top, gone. So that's about it though, guys. Thanks for watching this video. Next video will be either an install for uh, bump stops, limit straps, or just a wheeling video or a walk around video. We'll see, but we'll get another one out soon. Thanks guys. Yeah.